Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel. I hope everyone is good and well. So obviously we've got the AFCON happening and um, in the background it seems now we've also had transfer deadline day and there's been a couple of big moves for Algerian players and of course the big transfer story which we're going to focus on today is Yusuf Belayli is finally going to be playing in Europe again. He had so many offers on the table from clubs in Saudi Arabia, from clubs in the United Arab Emirates, and he's decided to, on deadline day, make a move to Ligue 1. That's right, Yusuf Belayli has moved to Ligue 1 side Brest, and um, they are doing okay in the French League table. Now, what happened was they sold Romain Faivre to Lyon, who's also eligible for Algeria, by the way, and they needed a replacement fast on deadline day and they saw Yusuf Belayli was available on a free transfer. So he's joining as a free agent. He signed a five-month contract until the end of the season with an option to extend by a further three years should the club wish to exercise that option. Now, the main thing for me was that Yusuf Belayli had to be, after being released by that Qatari club following the Arab Cup, Yusuf Belayli had to be playing regular club football anywhere if he wanted to play in those World Cup qualifiers. Because if Belayli had no club from now till the World Cup games, you can't play him. You can't even call him up. You can't call the guy up who hasn't played for three months. So, obviously a conversation from Belmadi to Belayli has happened in that he has to be playing regular football or he won't be called up. And Belayli, usually, of course, I think it's his dad, that's his agent, takes the money offers. Because the clubs in Saudi, like Al Tawun, Al Jazeera and the UAE, I think they were all offering big, big salaries compared to what the European clubs were offering. And that's why ultimately Belelli turned down the likes of Marseille and uh, Montpellier because they weren't matching the salaries. And I think he's just decided, you know what, I'm what, 29, 30 now, and this is probably my last chance to play in Europe. And if I never play in Europe, I know he went to, uh, I think, Angers and it never worked out and then he got banned or whatever, but this is his last real chance to prove himself that he is good enough to play in Europe. And as Algerians, we know Belelli very well and we've been screaming out for him to play in Europe. So this is the big move we've really been hoping for. And alhamdulillah, it's finally happened. Now, he's playing in the league where Messi is, of course, and Mbappe and players like that. He's going to be coming up against good quality defenders, a lot of them from the African football game. So this is very good for Yusuf Belayli, and of course, I think he speaks French as well. So he's going to fit in very nicely in that squad. He'll also be alongside his Algeria teammate, Harris Belkubla. It doesn't look like the club are going to get relegated, but they're going to finish somewhere in mid-table. And from now to the end of the season, a lot of Algerians are going to be tuning into these games to see how Belali does in Europe. And from a marketing perspective, it's a very wise move. All their followers have gone up massively. A lot of, a lot of people that uh, weren't Brest fans are now going to be watching their games. So it's going to be very interesting to see the support. Expect lots of Algerian flags at their matches. It's a good move for all parties involved. So I didn't really care what club Belali picked in Europe, just so that it was actually a club. I was even willing to accept him going to like the Middle East again. Because if he got to the end of the transfer window and he didn't have a club, that spells massive problems for the Algerian national team. You've got a guy that's going to be unfit having to go up against potentially the AFCON winners in those two World Cup qualifiers. So this is a good move for everyone involved. And yeah, there's obviously been some other transfers taking place on transfer deadline day. We've seen Islam Slimani terminate his contract at Lyon, which I was surprised, by the way, because it's not like he was barely playing. He was getting game time. But he's decided, he always said, Slimani, to be honest, he always said he would return to Sporting one day. And that's what he's done. He signed an 18-month contract with Sporting, left Lyon now, back to Portuguese football, where he did have the best days of his career. And, of course, the last time Slimani played for Sporting, Algeria reached a World Cup. So the signs there are good. And Sporting will take on Manchester City in the UEFA Champions League last 16 which Slimani is eligible to play in because I don't think Leon were in European football this season. So we can see Slimani against Mares in the Champions League. So Belayli new club, Slimani new club, and those are two very positive moves. And Slimani really got to prove himself. Five to ten goals probably needed for him in this Portuguese league season from now until the summer. That would be good. Belayli, a few goals and assists would be, would be nice. But I'm sure there were some other little moves. Those were the two main moves. I've also seen as well that Adeline Gudiora after just two appearances with Sheffield United, has terminated his contract with the club. I know Sheffield United's old manager was the guy that brought in Gudiora because he worked with him at Al Garafa. He left. Gudiora, after two games, has left. He'll probably go and train with Watford for a bit. But 
There's been rumours that Belmadi is considering a recall for Guardiola for these World Cup games because of just how imperative he was in that AFCOM run. So, if Guardiola, of course, is now a free agent, he's, he's, he can join clubs after the deadline. If he gets a good move and starts playing well again, don't be surprised if you see Guardiola called up again just for those two games, just to get us over the line at that World Cup. Yes, bit of transfer news today in this transfer video. And yes, I hope you guys are all doing good. Thank you so much for watching. We've got lots of other content planned, inshallah, and subscribe for more.